Hi guys, I just made a video about the changes. So it's the first of the month, which means an ISO, right? Cairo has been released, it's been uploaded. It's basically an ISO for me. But if you would say, I'd like to test it out and then see if this is my thing, right? It's a workflow thing as well. I want chat WM, right? And XFC4 is there for all its separate apps like Thunar and um, then I'm happy in a tiling window manager. It's just the way I like to live. Two years stability already. And all the files that I need to build things are here. And here's the ISO if you want to try it out. So let's do and let's try it out. A Super F7 Cairo. It has already the 2025 December, the first of the month, first release. It is in already loaded up here. We're going to start and we have to, of course, to tell reboot from the firmware because otherwise it's going to just start. And we start from the CD-ROM, so to speak, a virtual CD-ROM. And all you need to know is this is Intel AMD, this is Nvidia, the new stuff. You have a very old machine, take safe graphics. Well, first I would take this one and then I would try this one. All right. So a virtual box first line. A plenty of videos. It doesn't mean that you can't watch at the Arconix stuff anymore. Cairo is Arconix, right? It is it's even said so if you go to the ISO. It's basically Arconet. And we've gave it a new name. It's just an ISO, an operating system for Eric. That's it. Install Arclix, launch anyway. <clears throat> a very simple thing. It's not online. I've changed a little bit of the images here. So we're not talking about the Linux distribution anymore. This, this, this doesn't cover it. I'm just me, myself and I. So three persons would need to have an operating system. And this changed. So since I saw a message up there, it's no problem really. But I saw this message and I'm not using the small swap or the big swap so the partition as such i always use no swap 20 uh, 32 gigabyte of ram um, no issue with swaps at all so there are two options now swap to file if you like that's about eight gigabytes you can always change it if you like so if you have two gigabytes and eight you have 10 gigabytes if you have let's say 16 gigabyte you're you're in the clear right you have enough so no swap is my choice. Next, you yeah, know what to do here. And there's no online uh, option, and that's good, right? That's stability. Online is is keys that go wrong, signing that, go, that goes wrong, your landlord that has a firewall on, uh, your ISP that has firewalls, uh, intermittent internet connection, it all breaks down. And as you can see, I've changed a new, I've changed a few images there. So playing around with AI, let it create what I want. And having fun from time to time to change the images, but that's it, right? So just some images explaining you that that's basically the focus. So chat WM is my focus. That's what you don't see now. You boot it, boot in an XFCE, which is cool. You know this, you get this, work with this. And from time to time, go over to a tiling winner manager, any tiling winner manager, right? And have fun. Arsenal X3 tool is still there as well. So that's uh, maintained. A Super X is also there, which means we have these nice buttons to stop. And I've chosen my nice buttons, but there is more, right? Choose the color, the themes, how big the font size should be, how big the icon size should be. I remove a few things. You can also uh, have hibernate and all that. I don't want to hibernate or sleep. Shut down, go up again. That's the best for the memory. Uh, you'll always have a clean memory doing so. So I said I changed something in Calamars in previous video, 20% and 50, you, you see the video. And that's this, right? That's the slider. And we say that amount, that particular module is 40% of our time. That particular model is 20%. And that's how you define where, how big a slider is in a certain module, right? And how fast it seems to go. 
because most of the work has been done that's the copy paste here and then it just jumps almost to the right for the rest so this is not where i need to be in the future i need to be on chat wm this is okay this is fine this is great it's stable it has been stable stable for oh, years and years right never had an issue with xfce but last two years i was on chat wm and had never an issue with chat wm either so that's my go-to operating system or desktop i should say or tiling window manager i should say so updating well updating what i say reboot of course voila let's take a sip so on a real metal machine that's one thing i'll do i'll go to xfc or chat wm i'm gonna go for xfc why pycom which makes your terminal transparent is not working on virtual machine not really you have to kill it and then everything becomes not transparent but visual so on the virtual machine i first go in here and then you just um well i need something more get Cairo nemesis so after installing everything i say let's have scripts and let's fine-tune everything so the current choices is what i do afterwards and it will remove all the things i don't need as a user as an end user i don't need chinese fonts i don't need japanese fonts but calamaris did right calamaris needs this GFS still okay it's gone all right this is waiting a few seconds because there was already a lock so I've made the script to wait until it can remove it because we don't need these tools we're on x4 will always be on x4 I don't need GFS nor do I need NFS utilities then so all these things that I don't need get removed vim I don't want vim I'll use nano choices everybody their own choices this is already in from now on so i can remove it from my script does it take time no because it says it's already there right so it's okay but i'll remove it after this video I'm never burning cds not my thing but it's part of xfc4 the package list that arch makes xfs I'm not going to use it i'm going to use x4 so everything that i don't need is gone then i'm gonna install the things i do need which is syncing which is an, an app that syncs the cloud right in sync is something i've paid years ago and signal desktop is the way to communicate with people signal and trade to have something up here that says hey you have a message and opera because you can't pseudo pacman minus as it so we build it opera is there and also the way to play some things, the FF MPEG codec to see some videos. That's the end from the AOR. And now we're going into a folder. The folder is called personal, it's that one. So it's going to go through all the numbers and uh, the scripts. Well, they look at what we have and we're gonna override things like this one. I want Eric, the user Eric, to be able to auto login i don't like to wait push on my button and i'm straight into my desktop right why go and ask a password every time at home on a laptop i get it but at home nobody is on my machine some stuff here gnome blueberry symbolic links nano my way to look at nano have a stream timer for ssds my personal gpg conf for pacman.d stuff like that i am on oracle so i'm not going to install virtualbox since i am on virtualbox but if i were on real metal it's going to install virtualbox the way i like it my settings and so on okay so have a look at the code i've made videos about that 
and then Intel you code is the last thing so if you're on AMD you code hey go change it and then the question do you want fish yes go and give me fish and then we reboot whoops well as our sudo reboot right short term to write or reboot and all the settings everything I like about well the base system arch but with this particular setting with that particular setting all the files everywhere etc etc and the folder slash etc or the dot config or the dot local or whatever i want it i'm gonna override things so this is pycam not behaving well there is this this um shadow so pycam is working but up here something should come and here as well so Control alt o i think yeah Control alt o is going to kill stopping PyCon Control alt o and then you choose different PyCon for example here with a choice the PyCon from cache os which is an old uh, well if you think a year old or something so maybe they've changed it already but trial and see what uh, see what you uh, like or make comparisons what did i do back when i created it but now you see <coughs> the toolbar up here that's how it should look but now we don't have pycam and that's it's sad but it's okay right because i'm not living on a virtual machine i'm living in a real metal world where pycam is working just fine it's just not here on virtual box anything else to say well i love this particular well take on dwm a fork and all you need to do is learn and right? learn the key bindings so a control alt t a super enter a shift q a shift a super sorry super q and super shift q that's it but there's also a super d to get your menu to get your applications super shift d a smaller one to run firefox again right and have firefox launched etc super q it's gone again it's so quick it's so responsive getting out is a super x that's our little application and you log out or you reboot your shutdown and that's it so that's my personal operating system um, in a nutshell and you can try it out if you like it's going to be on this one sourceforge projects cairo that's where you'll find it you don't need the files but i do recommend you go into the files and not that button it updates but when will it update i have no control so go to the files and have a look the last version so the vlc plugins costs us 100 megabytes right 5.1 to 5.2 because of basically well updates kernels and all that as well but also a choice to have all the plugins available for vlc enjoy cairo cheers